how are you all doing this is vertic and for this video we're going to take a look at how to motion track some text so what you want to do is you want to get yourself some clips or some footage for your video and you want to import it into sony vegas i'm going to be using sony vegas pro 17 this works with 16 as well so anything after pro 16 you can do this motion tracking where it's automatically done for you so first of all we're going to delete the audio layer so if you press U on your keyboard and then press delete since I don't have any sound and then also delete the audio track as well we don't really need it once you've got your video all you got to do is click on it and then go back to the start you want to go to the one that says bezier masking and then drag yourself the first one now that you've got yourself this effect you will get this box here and this is pretty much where it will be tracked so where you place this dot right here in the middle this is where your text or your tracking will go you want to go ahead and get yourself a blend of 1000 so this makes it so it's clear and then you want to open up your first mask in the first mask you want to pretty much mess about with the scale if you want to you can make it a little bit smaller or you can drag it down place it like here you have some other options for example the angle the opacity you have feather and you have the style so you can either choose the in out or both for the feather now we're not going to change this one we're going to go to tracking and then in tracking you want to get yourself the options so here you'll have the precision you'll have the mode keyframe interval which will be on five you want to set this one to high so this is for high precision the mode you can either choose between location rotation and location shape and location now the best one to have is location because we're only going to focus on 2D. The 3D isn't as good so far. It's not the best, so it's not the most accurate. That's why I'm only doing 2D for the moment. But I'll, eventually I will do a 3D version of this once it's a little bit better. We're going to change this one to 1 for the keyframe. So this is basically means every single frame it will place a key point. If you have it every five, it'll place every five and so on. Once you're ready, you pretty much make sure you won't have it in the right location where you want it. And then you press start. And this will automatically generate some keyframes for you. As you can see, it's placing quite a lot of them because we've set it on one for the keyframe. And there we go. Now it's done. You will see all the keyframes have been plotted down. So you'll see them at the bottom right here. And if we go back to the start, we can close this down and we can get ourselves some text. So if you go to tools, go down to extensions and this one right here will say add text to motion track. Once you've got yourself the motion track, you will get this option right here. So if you wanted to, you can offset it to either the left and right or top and bottom. So you have the X offset and the Y offset. Mess about with them, but I'm going to leave it on normal. So this will be on zero and this will be directly in the center. So if you press OK, you'll get a placeholder. And in the placeholder, you want to click on here to edit it and pretty much type in your text. So. You could change the font if you wanted to, so get any font you wanted. We're going to go with Nexa, that's one of my personal favorites, if I can find it. So you can search it up. Ah, there it is. So Nexa Bold. We're going to change the color to white. If you wanted to, you can also add an animation. So you can have all these animations right here. These are some of the templates. We can, let's say, add the split one. You want to leave the location, you can center the text or move it to wherever you like. For example, the tracking, line spacing, if you want to add a background, you have the outline and the shadow. Now I'm not going to edit them, so I'm just going to leave it as it is. And then we're going to preview this and have a look, see what it looks like. It's a little bit slow at the moment. So I'm just going to put the preview down to a quarter and have a look at this. And as you can see, it is nice and smooth, it is tracked exactly where we want it to go okay so we have another example right here and this is the same as last time you want to get yourself the same effect drag it in and then you want to go to general put the blending on 1000 make it a little bit smaller but also keep a box so it can still track around the object 
open up mask one and then go down to tracking in here go to options and same as last time set it to high put it on location and put it to one and then when you're ready press start and there we go now it's done now the one problem with this is that if your person or the object is outside the frame it might struggle at the start to actually pick up where the person is so what you would need to do is you need to film it like this and then when you're ready you can zoom in so he'll pretty much move into the frame go up to tools go down to extensions add to motion track now for this time you want to set the y offset to 126 here and this will pretty much make it a little bit above where the motion tracking is so if you press ok you'll get the placeholder once you got the placeholder type in your text so let's put run and yeah i'm going to leave the rest as it is and we're going to preview this and see what we got and as you can see it's following the object nice and smoothly It struggled a little bit at the end as you, as you saw because it lost the side of the face but to say it followed him for a while it did a really good job. Now like I mentioned before this is still being improved all the time so it's not exactly perfect you will get some moments where it can't track it perfectly but eventually it will get a lot better. But this just saves a lot of time from having to do it yourself so you can also mess about with the key frames and the settings. Anyway, that was a quick video. I hope you liked it and give it a thumbs up if you did. Let me know what you thought of it. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.